Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kill Rodan. And today we'll be reviewing another obscured old Kung Fu flick for you folks. Yes, sir. It's from the past, obviously. So, so which one do I have to review today? Or morning or night, whenever you're watching this video. Yeah. Okay. Four robbers. That's the one I'll be reviewing, folks. Four robbers. Yes, sir, folks. So, anyway, you should know the drill by now. Of course, as always. I do have to talk about the plot, of course. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, here we go. So, in this film, the storyline focuses on a band of four robbers, of course. And they can steal from a powerful crime uh, place, I guess you can say, this surrogate as fast as they could and as effectively as they could and they want to take stuff from a jewelry store of course but let's just say this circuit doesn't want revenge it wants these rob these four guys on their side of course that way I guess you can say the circuit will be invincible I guess you can say they're they were too good I guess you can say so the bad guys want them to be on their side because of that so anyway, three of the four robbers think the crime is easy. However, but their leader is more level-headed, I guess you can say. Before their adventures are over, the four robbers will find themselves traveling from Hong Kong to Thailand, uh, enduring the wealth, you know, double crossing and whatnot, some crazy stuff, of course. They were coming here, and and of course, there's gonna be some wild kung fu fighting going on, of course. And I can say that, yeah, this one does come off more of a, like a crime drama, crime drama, I guess you're gonna call it. Comes off more in that regard. Not that necessarily has to be a bad thing, no siree. So it just comes off like they just throw a bit of kung fu in here, folks. I mean, just enough to clarify as you know, mar as a martial arts film. I think that's pretty cool, folks. Yes, you know, sir. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool thing there, if you ask me. And I can't say that this one wasn't too bad. I guess you can say I I enjoyed it. And I can say that, yeah, the I'm not going. I'm not going to bother about the type of dubbing. We all know the dubbing is going to be that good, so I'm not going to be bothered talking about that. So. Yeah, I enjoyed it in some ways. I guess they're trying to mix the genres in here, folks, trying to mix it together, which is fine. I, I've, I've watched kung fu films that attempted to do that before, so it didn't bother me that much, really. And I can say that this film was pretty nicely done as a whole, I guess you can say. I did like the sense of, I guess, craziness, the sense of drama, so to speak. I guess. Crime, this whole thing, you know, I like the way the story is handling this one, folks. Yes, yeah, sorry. And I can say that I did like the the story, I guess you can say the overall plot, because I did like the sense of what, of, of adventure they're trying to do here. So, I can, I, there's not really complaints can make it, I can say about this one, because you know, they were, I can see they were trying to do something here, but the with a story, and yeah, this is this, for this movie. I guess they're trying to have a story where it, you know, maybe that good the good guys aren't really all that good. I guess the the, the heroes, I mean heroes of the story, they're more like I guess villains in some ways. So they're not super good hearted. Like in like some of the other kung fu movies I've seen, so I can say in some ways they were trying to do something a bit different compared to some of the other stuff I've seen, which is fine. At least the movie's trying to keep itself refreshing with the story, which again does not have to be a bad thing. I, I, at least they're trying to do something here, folks. I, I give them credit for that. At least they're trying to do 
mix up a little bit. So, hey, I kind of just hate on them for that, I guess you can say. No, so re. Ugh. Maybe I drink. I gotta stop drinking so much. Oy. Anyway, so I'm saying check this movie out if you haven't already because honestly, I didn't think it was all that bad of a film. I thought it was well paced, and I I would say something about the dialogue in this film. Yeah, uh, I don't want to say much. I don't really just want to say anything about the dialogue because the again the dialogue in this film. Is based on the English English dub version, I guess you can say, but whatever, I suppose. The dialogue is pretty okay, I guess. It's kind of wretched in some ways, I guess you can say. But I'm not gonna hold, you know, I'm not gonna hold the film responsible for that because the dialogue in here again is based on the English spoken American version of this. So if if you watch this and if you realize some of the dialogue is a bit shit, well again it's it's the English dub version. I've not seen the um, have not seen the original version. Would I ever come across it? I don't know. Maybe not. I would like to get my hands on the original version. And I know I keep saying that with a lot of these movies, but you know I would like to get my hands on it one of these days. That's for damn sure. I'm pretty sure the the original I'm pretty sure the original version of this film is a lot better, which it probably is. But you know, I didn't hate this movie really. I, I didn't hate this movie at all. So I'll say check it out, I guess. This was a solid movie. And I can say I did like some of the music. Some of the music is not too bad either, I suppose. It definitely has its moments when it comes to the music. And I, I guess we're trying to make it seem exciting. With some of these sequences, I suppose. So, hey, that's fine by me, I guess you can say. So, anyway. Anyway. I can say that this film gets an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It gets a 6.8 out of 10 for me. That's all it, movie. As always, thank you for watching. And take care. Until next time. Oh, yeah.